Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Shocking marriage decision, secrets at threat and big reveals in court. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of July 17, 21 reveal that Hope Spencer may end up in control of her own fortune. Since it looks like Liam Spencer may be willing to pump the thickets on the divorce after all, will that change anything for Hope? Although Hope originally fought for her marriage, commodity shifted formerly Steffi Forrester came part of the discussion. Hope has eventually realized just how important she hates having to partake half of Liam's heart. Thomas Forrester blew Hope's mind in bed and can offer her total fidelity unlike Liam, so he's got far more selling points than her current hubby. At the same time, Hope has erected a family and a life with Liam, so she could be tempted to cleave to the once despite all their problems. B&B spoilers say Hope will make a choice that's a game changer, but what does that mean exactly? Will Hope take the empowered approach and come the one to reject Liam this time around? That's surely an option to consider since Hope's ring-junking moment felt like a major turning point. Grounded on everything Hope's been saying, it seems like she's ready to move on from Liam the Waffler. Still, it's also possible Hope will cast Thomas away and count on him to keep what happened in bed a secret. Brooke Logan would have to keep that secret as well following her bedroom barge, heft, so that option could get messy. Anyhow, Hope will find herself with a decision to make, so she'll try to make the right bone. Big changes are coming no matter what choice Hope eventually settles on. Other bold and the beautiful spoilers say Sheila Carter will head to the courtroom as her trial eventually kicks off. Sheila didn't have important stopgap of getting out of captivity when Deacon Shark came to visit her, but Commodity tells us she'll find her sanguinity again. Since Sheila feels like everyone underestimates her capability to wriggle out of trouble, she may be on the verge of achieving freedom in another twist of fate. Whatever the case, Sheila's trial will come with some shocking exposures as well as some backstabbings along the way. Could the news of Deacon's buried love with Sheila come to light during all the legal drama? The bold and the beautiful spoilers say Deacon's life could get a lot more complicated soon, so stay tuned for updates on all the courtroom conflict. Sheila trial shocker leaves bushwhacked by betrayal. We can formerly see Sheila Carter smiling like the cat that got the canary. Bold and Beautiful's occupant Khan and Madwoman lately spend time lamenting. What might have been with Cleric, but according to a certain teaser, there's still well hope for the future. Sheila's captivity blues have taken a backseat to the Forester Creations crew in their trip to Rome in the once weeks, so the wrongdoer was just sagging down behind bars all but forgotten by those who detest her. But we'd eventually caught a regard of her when the man who loves her decided to pay her a visit. No, not Mike Guthrie, we're talking about Deacon Sharp. Sharp's on top of the world these days, what with his mega success as a restaurateur, having gone from the help who lives in the establishment's broom closet to the proprietor in a mind-boggling short quantum of time. But away from getting the owner of Il Giardino, Deacon is also enjoying the healthiest relationship with his son Hope, her mama Brooke, and everyone differently in City that he's ever had, by a long shot. Heck, indeed Bill is bellying up to his bar these days without calling him the con. Yep, life has no way been so good for Cleric, except for the inconvenient fact that he fell in love with a certain nine-toed miscreant. He enough much risked it all to go and visit her. After all, if the verity about Deacon's passions for and past relationship with Sheila were revealed, indeed the fact that he helped put her down isn't going to be enough to calm the outrage those closest to him will feel. The sheer repulsion of it may tank his eatery business as well. That he took the chance at all speaks volumes. Sheila claims to love Cleric though it's in her own crypt way and to be stewing for the life they might have had excessively forgetting that she threw him over for Bill, who duped her, and that her preoccupation with Finn overrides anything differently she may have going on, Carter lamented her misplaced future with Sharp, except all may not be lost. A forthcoming spoiler from Saad teases that the mad woman is about to get her day in court, okay, her rearmost day in court, and that it may not be the open and shut conviction on murder one that Bill and Ridge were anticipating when they tricked her into making a full concession. The first part of this teaser is that Sheila's long-awaited trial brings surprises. This isn't exactly astounding given it's Sheila and this is bold and beautiful. A twist is downright anticipated. 
But what might it be? Well, we are allowing back to some of Sheila's last scenes before Deacon's recent visit and wondering if she's ever managed to keep working on Jack Finnegan and if, indeed to her own surprise, she's going to get a result. Jack, of course, is Finn's father and the man who was revealed out of nowhere to be a hot, shot counsel and not a croaker, as we all assumed. No, he just hung out at the sanitarium all the time because his woman, Lai, worked there. Anyway, Nanny Sheila enticed him and the rest is history. Sheila summoned Jack to jail on one occasion, but despite her capability to charm certain men, the event was chilly to say the least. Jack was bothered and hugely apathetic in representing her. It was a wonder he indeed showed up. But he did. And that gives us pause. Will the surprises at the trial involve Jack turning up as Sheila's attorney? If so, we've to assume she'll have an excellent chance at beating the charges involving the old murders, and if so, it explains the coming part of the spoiler, which teases that Sheila's trial will also bring backstabbings. We can clearly suppose of one person who would feel betrayed by Jack taking Sheila's case, and that's Finn. By getting Sheila out of jail, his father would be putting his family at threat formerly again, it's not as if she's going to give up on having a relationship with her son indeed after shooting him and his woman and leaving them for dead in an alley. As Sheila will tell you herself, none of that should count when she's his mama and she loves him. She didn't mean to hurt anyone. Oi. Finn's not the only bone who would feel betrayed by Jack. Lie would be incensed given that Sheila nearly caused her both fiery and watery death, and of course, Steffi, who would be allowing she could count on her father. In law to cover her and especially his grandson Hayes. Do you suppose there's a chance those Jack scenes happed for a reason and that he'll take Sheila's case? Or do you suppose we are barking up the wrong tree? Feel free to partake your studies on what the trial may bring in the comment section of Eric Forrester. They are long since disassociated but what if there was a legal snafu and Eric and Sheila's marriage was no way officially dissolved, would still being worse? Eric Forrester make a difference in Sheila's life from a legal perspective? About 27 suppose it might. Bold and the beautiful sugar surprise. Sheila's done a lot of horrible effects this last go around including trying to kill Steffi, Finn, and Liam. Indeed if she's sprung from jail, we can't see Sheila interacting with the gang at Forrester Creations. But what if this rearmost crime spree was not committed by Sheila at all but rather by sugar, her once mate in crime? Maybe Sugar got plastic surgery to make people suppose she was Sheila? Numerous of you 34 feel that this is Sheila's stylish path for redemption. Take a runner from Flo Fulton. Nothing reintegrates in stranger back into the fold like giving a order or other vital organ to an indigent family member. Flashback when Flo gave a order to a dying Katie? The Logans looked upon the fabricator with new ways. However, also perhaps Finn and Steffi would come around if Sheila were to contribute blood or a order or other vital organ to Little Hayes. Well, we can't see Steffi going for this, but 39 of you suppose it'd be a good launch. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.